I thought it was a, a good first couple periods for us. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it was kind of a slower game a little bit, but um, you know, we wanted to come out and handle the play, and I think we did control it for most of the game. Obviously, the third period, a lot of the, the chirping and stuff got involved, and you know, guys' heads get out of the game real fast. But um, you know, we got uh, two points, and it's a good way to finish out the weekend. Last time you saw the Toledo, what was? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that uh, obviously wasn't fun for us at all. So um, we're going back there with a different mindset. You know, we're carrying a couple wins with us. Hopefully that's some momentum. And, you know, I know uh, all the guys in this locker room, no one's happy. Um, and no one's satisfied with just winning these two. We want to beat Toledo now. Um, so, you know, we're going in there with uh, some confidence and motivation and uh, going for the two points. You had a lot of games where you've been all over the stat sheet like you were tonight. I mean, in all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, yeah, no. I mean, those are fun games. Obviously, more more when they come in and win. You know, if you have a few points and you lose, it's you know it's not fun. I mean, uh, it might be different for some guys, but you know, I know everyone in this locker room. If you have a big game, no one's walking out with a smile on their face after a loss. So I was just happy it came in a win. And, um, you know, like I said, just building into Toledo. What are you yeah, doing problem. to prepare for Toledo? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of tough, obviously, since we had the, the couple games this weekend, and then, uh, you know, we're uh, going to get a practice tomorrow, but it'll probably be short since we leave for uh, Toledo tomorrow night. So, uh, you know, it's more just uh, we don't really need to be physically ready for Toledo. You know, we're physically ready for anyone at any time. It's more being mentally ready, so that's what we're focusing on. Uh, talk about the difference in game time, the, you know, the 3 p.m. game. Instead of, I mean, what, are you, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you know, it's different. Um, obviously, it's a little earlier bedtime and stuff like that, you know, early breakfast. And uh, so you just got to pretty much prepare yourself the right way, watch what you do. You don't want to eat too terrible at night or anything like that. And um, usually there's a lot of energy that early in the morning because, you know, guys are awake already. And then there's usually a lot of screaming kids, which obviously helps. Uh, pretty deafening, but there's no way to fall asleep with it. So uh, that's pretty much it. We thought we'd just bring the energy and kind of take it to them and finish every check. You know, like the wear and tear of playing three games in three nights. We know how that is. We know how tough it is to get going. And we just wanted to take the lead early, which we did, and kind of carried that momentum throughout the game, even when it got pretty chippy at times. And I know our bench wasn't happy, but we were glad to get the two points, and that's kind of all that matters. We can, we can eat all the other stuff. Talk about the confidence you guys have now, you know, with a few wins on your back. Mm -hmm. Going into Toledo with a different type of game being right. earlier in the day, you know, talk about that. Yeah, we uh, after that big win on Friday, you know, that comeback five, down 5-1 five, in the third and then getting the overtime yeah. wins, probably still one of the coolest games I've ever been a part of. That's that's one of the things in the locker room that, that molds you as a team and that you can build on and go from. And it's big. You saw it tonight. I mean, we came out same with that confidence. We, we took it to them early, and we're going to try and carry that right into Toledo. And it's a hard building to play in, 1030 in the morning with – uh, 10,000 screaming kids. It's going to be fun, but we know what we're going to do. We got to watch video tomorrow. We're going to go over some special team stuff and uh, try and limit their scoring chances because they, they're skilled team. So we're just going to have to shut that down and uh, play physical. Right. We had some good jump. You know, I, I really like the fact that uh, you know when the shenanigans started, we got plenty of guys. They answering the bell. That, that's great to see, um, especially in front of our crowd. And you know, it was good to get a power play goal. I think the power play has been struggling lately, as we can all tell. And it's really good for us to get our confidence going. It's a nice power play. Uh, goal there by Cheeker, and we had some other good looks too, so that was good. I'm, I'm upset about giving away the last goal in the penalty kill because, again, special teams heading into the Toledo is going to be big. But, um, again, overall, good response. We had to take care of these two home games, obviously, um, to make sure we take care of business before this tough stretch we got coming up four and five. Obviously, their, their team came in with several losses, and you, know, you want to make sure that you don't uh, take that for granted, I guess. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest with you, I don't talk about that. The no, reason why is because in my experience, whenever I do that, we lose. <laughs> okay. Because what ends up happening is you create a false sense of security with the group. And I'm telling you right now, it doesn't work. So I just stay off of that. I stay more about, you know, what we just got to take care of business. And, uh, you know, I'm sure the guys knew that they were coming off a three and three and they were in back to back. We went, they know they don't need to hear me. Uh, Does that hold true if you're playing a team that's doing really well, too? Um, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I think every opponent in this league is a worthy adversary. I really do. I mean, it, it, you know, if you remotely mentally start taking anything for granted, that's when you're already behind the eight ball. So I, that's just a personal belief. That finished Friday, was that something you could play off of? That you, you could see that the guys came out and were playing off that a little bit? Well? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I in the first period, I, I didn't like the fact we passed up a couple chances to shoot on some great scoring chances. You know, we still, I would have liked to, we, we probably could have had 20, 22 shots in the first period, but... We overpass a little bit, and that's something we got to make sure that we do a better job. Because against a team like Toledo, you're you're going to get very few good scoring chances, and you got to you know you got to put the puck to the net at every chance you get. So, um, you know, we just want to keep improving. You know, there's still 
holes in our game. We know it. Uh, we're talking about it. But uh, I like the way that the team is responding. This is a screwy week for both team guys, isn't it? I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday morning, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, a tough week. You know, there's no doubt about it. But uh, we take it a game at a time. You know, these guys are pros. They're in good shape. And uh, we got some got a little bit of health now. We're starting to get a little bit healthier. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's going to be a big challenge. Obviously, Toledo's, you know, the best team in the league. And, and it's going to be a big challenge, especially in front of uh, listening to SpongeBob SquarePants in front of 6,000 kids. <laughs> Are those morning games, I mean, is it a lot different routine-wise? I mean, you're obviously used to practicing in the morning, but I would imagine getting up for a game is different. Yeah, you know, the management does a great job. We go over there early. You know, we'll go over there at 3 o'clock. We bust out on, uh, on Monday, and we get there and stay, stay the night, have a good dinner there. And, you know, um, yeah, it's, but it's a different routine for both teams. So, you know, you got to take that out of the equation. But it is – it is different, and uh, you know we've we've all seen those games as we coached in them, played in them, and uh, they're interesting. I'm surprised we don't do one, to be honest with you. Well, season ticket holders would scream like crazy, but they would. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Airport, it those morning games because they're so loud. I love the kids' music, man. I got kids. Well, it's, not the, it's not the music. <laughs> it's, it's the it's the shrill. The pitch. Yeah, yeah the shrill. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got daughters. Well, the worst was last year in Allen. Remember those guys behind me in the playoffs with the with the the oh, kazoo's right oh, in the yeah. thing. Boozy and I mean, it it, right it in was in that was the loudest I've ever because I mean that was intense. So, plus all the fireworks, I'm hard of hearing anyways. What's Fulmer bring? Um, well, you know, he's. I think again for him, there's a guy that hasn't been skating really in three weeks. You know, he's maybe skated eight nine times. So he's going to get better. But you can see he thinks the game it is very simple. He keeps the puck on his forehand. He doesn't overhandle the puck. Um, he makes quick decisions with the puck, and um, you know I thought putting him with Cody was good because I think Cody's obviously been been a very consistent deal. It's good to see Bobby play really consistent tonight. You know um, I think you know guys like Mantha getting back to the pace of this level. Um, you know with uh, with Bobby now for, you know first back too. You know some guys are still getting their 100% game legs back and uh, with Foams too. So you know it's good to get a lot of those, a lot of minutes for those two three players this weekend. Do you have to do anything at all tomorrow? Uh, Stretch out or anything else? Yeah, we're gonna have a very we're have a light skate tomorrow, and mostly it's just getting ready for Toledo's power play. You know, we're gonna do some walkthroughs, some video. We got to make sure that we know exactly what we're gonna do against their power play, which basically you know cost us the game last time. So we'll try to try to get prepared and, and do some walkthrough. But it'll be a lighter skate tomorrow, and then we'll get on the bus at three. When you played them, and and they really beat you bad. Do you have to say much, or is that remembered? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they remember it. Um, I, I don't think we have to talk about it. I don't dwell on the past. I mean, we're more focused on, you know, Tuesday's game. But, you know, it's a good team. And obviously, we, we went over there and played the game the wrong way like we've done in the past going over to Toledo. I don't know why we do it. But when we go over there, we try to play a skill game. We try to play a ping pong match. And you can't play those guys that way. Uh, we don't match up well that way. we got to play to our strengths, make sure we're disciplined. And when the PK comes, we got to be sharp. Does it make a difference that Kyle can play forward too? Oh yeah, that's a big reason why we brought him in. You know, so it gives us some versatility. Um, you know, guys getting called up and stuff like that. They'll 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 be something in the next 24 hours. So um, you know, it's nice to have somebody can play forward indeed. Is it hard? I mean, how many of those guys are there out there even anymore? You know, it used to be there were a few, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the last one we had was. Well, Dan Maggio could play forward and D. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some other guys that we had. Eddie Wright. Um, you know, I mean, it's going all the way back. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's for him. I know, but I mean, there's a, it's a long way. There are not that many. Bouchard. Yeah, yeah. Freddie yeah. Bouchard, too. Yeah. No, it's nice. I mean, versatility. And again, guys that can play center and wing, it's nice. So. Yeah. When he was here in camp, I forget, did he get hurt? Yeah. Yeah, he got hurt in, tra in training camp, and he had a groin. Yep, yeah. Well, it was new ice. And a couple guys went out with groins because the ice was really soft, and we were not happy about that. And uh, that's off the record. I'm not trying to sewer the, the Cal. Papers, not trying to sewer the Coliseum no, for yeah. you know forty something four years ago.